Welcome back to the channel, I'm Jay Malone. Today I have a quick tip for you on how you can measure something using Google Maps. If you're new to the channel and you like drones, photography, technology, and other related things, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. When you do, tap the little bell icon next to it. That way you won't miss the next video I upload for you. All right, check this out guys. I learned a new little trick and you might already know this, but I just learned this trick yesterday and I wanted to share it with you. I think it's got some uh, great uses. I, I think there's many cases that you could use this. So uh, let, let's jump on over here to the computer and let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I've went to Google and I've searched for Corning, Arkansas, and you'll notice it always pops up a map over here on the side uh, if you search for a city or a town. If you click on that map, it will load the Google Maps here, and there is a little collapse side panel button right over here to the left. Click that and you can see this full screen. Now, you can click and hold your mouse and move this around. I think most of you are familiar with how Google Maps works, but uh, I'm just gonna give you a, a quick example of something really cool here. Now, let's zoom in. I am actually going to zoom in to where our church is located to show you this, actually. I like to turn on the satellite, so we will click on the little square here in the left-hand corner, satellite, and we can look now and find Highway 67, County Road 135, I go north, and if I zoom in right here, uh, Big T Church, that's the name of the church that I attend. Now, we can look and we can see a satellite image of this church, and uh, a lot of times people want to know how far the church is uh, down the road. Um, I'm gonna show you exactly here. If we will right click, you can see where there is a button that says measure distance. You click on the measure distance, now you click on the map, and now we're going to drag down all the way down here to the highway, and we will click there. And you can see on the bottom of your screen, check this out, total distance 1.03 miles. So there you have it, you can see exactly how far something is. But don't click off the video because it gets even more interesting than that. Let's right click and clear measurement. We're gonna go back up here to the church building, zoom in as close as we can now. And this could be useful for contractors or someone that's wanting to get kind of a rough estimate on something. Uh, we can actually right click on the top of this roof, measure distance, and then we can click on the very back side of it and you can move these in and out to get them pretty close. See where the zero is, drag that out here. And um, you can look at that now and you can see that the, 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 you know, the roof length right there is like 104.03 feet. Now, you and me both know that from this distance, we're not going to get it down to the exact inch. Uh, that's as far as we can zoom in but you realize that would get somebody a fairly close estimate um, if you needed to know something. Um, this tool I think could be useful for several different things. Uh, I actually measured the, the length of our football field just to kind of check it and see how it was. Uh, measured uh, my father's house to get an idea of that. So there's many things I think that you could use this measurement tool for. Um, it, it's kind of endless. Uh, you, can, you can measure small things. You can move this down if you want to, to measure the width. Uh, you can look here and we will measure the width of the church here. And it looks like measuring that roof from there is 46 feet. I know the inside of our church building is 40 foot wide. So yeah, that gives you an idea of kind of how this works. I think it's pretty cool. Let me show you another cool thing. Let's clear this measurement here. Now, if I wanted to outline our church property to kind of see what kind of distance we have, I can right click, I can measure, I can click over here. Now you can connect these. You don't have to draw just one line. So we're gonna connect this uh, somewhere over here, uh, go back here, and then finalize it. 
Now, look at the distance now. It'll tell you the total distance around the perimeter would be 833.6 feet, but it gives you a total area. So there's 43,296.13 square feet in this property. I think that's very useful. This could be used in agriculture or whatever. If you're looking at this uh, map, we will check this field out here, this right across from the church. We will measure it out as well, click the marks, and let's see if we can get this to work. That gives us a rough estimate there. Uh, it looks like uh, 1.5 million square feet. So yeah, I guess you could figure that out to kind of know how many uh, acres that would be. Um, I think this is useful. It's a quick tip, something that I didn't know that maybe you already knew. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know, is this, is this something that you, you know, knew existed or is this new to you as well? Also, let me know what kind of idea that you have that you could use this measurement tool for. I'd like to hear that down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. That would let me know that you liked this video. And if you wanna see some more of my videos, click over here. And if for some reason you're not already subscribed to this channel, then click my face in the circle icon down below this video. That will get you subscribed. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.